In this video lesson, we're going to have a look at how to use paste special. You should already be familiar with how to use paste, and we'll just run through the absolute basics. If you want to copy some information, you select the cells, and then you just do copy, decide where you want those cells to go, and paste. Very simple. But if you notice just to the right of the paste button, there's a little drop down arrow. We're going to use that to find control how we paste. First of all, let's have a look at these cells here. You can see we've got a formula in there for concatenating. Now, if you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter for this particular lesson. Um, it's about uh, text strings. The fact is that there's a function there. And it's creating for me a, a username for these for these people. John Smith's username is John Smith. Okay, so that's been automatically created. So I might want to use those uh, names or those usernames in a different part of my spreadsheet. So if I copy the cells and copy in the usual way, and then go to a new worksheet and select cell and then paste, there's nothing there. Except there is. If you look at the formula bar, it shows you that there's a function inside that cell. It's just that the function returns nothing because those cell references, there's nothing in those cells. That's because we just paste it in the normal way. What we can do, though, is use paste special. So if we click on the drop down arrow just to the right of the paste icon, these are various shortcuts to items that are available in the Paste Special dialog box. So I'm just going to go straight to Paste Special. And it brings up the Paste Special dialog box. And just to show you, there's always more than one way to get there. We can also right click on a cell and do Paste Special. And we can also do Edit Paste Special. Either of those ways brings up the Paste Special dialog box. Now using it is very simple. And there's lots for you to play around with. I'm going to talk about one or two of these and then let you play around with some of the others. What I want to do for this one is because we had a formula there, I don't want to bring the formula across. I only want the values, the results, if you like, of those of the uh, formula from the previous spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is just click values and then OK. And what that has done is just brought in the values that have been created from this function. So we've got John Myth, Barn Brow, click on sheet two, and there's, but it's just text. You see the value in the formula bar? There's just text there. It's not the function. But there's other things we can do with Paste Special. Let's have a look at some of the other features. If I select these cells that's got formatting on them, and do copy, select a cell, Paste Special, I can just bring across the formatting, for example. Click on OK, and it brings just the formatting from those cells. It's a very useful feature. Let's see what else we can do. We can transpose. We've got these titles here, oranges, apples, and pears. If I copy that information, what transpose does is takes that information from a vertical and puts it in a row. So let's just see what happens. Select the cell, paste special, and select transpose. Click on OK. You can see how the information was in a column, it's now in a row. And it will work the other way around as well. Next thing we can look at is paste a link, where we can select a cell, copy it, select the cell where we want to paste the link to, drop down, paste special. And here we've got the paste link button. And you can see what's happened there. If I click inside that cell, have a look in the formula bar, it's actually a reference to the original cell, B17. There's B17. So we've actually created a link between those two cells. Yes, you could do that manually. You could just type that in. One of the really useful features, though, is to do things with calculations. So we've got our prices here. If we know there's been a a price rise and we want to change all these by say 20 percent rather than going down and manually calculating each one and typing in that figure we can use paste special all i'm doing here is putting a value in a cell 
of 1.2. I'm going to multiply the value in these cells, the price cells, by that value and replace the result in these cells. So in effect, we're going to take 0.22, multiply it by 1.2, and the result of that will appear in this cell. That 1.2 is effectively giving it an increase of 20%. So don't worry about the maths of that, just about the mechanics of what we're doing. So we select the cell that has the, uh, the update figure in, if you like, and we copy it in the normal way. And then we select the cells that we want to paste it to and use Paste Special. And what we want to do now is use this operation section and say, well, okay, when we paste this, what mathematical operation do we want to do to the two figures? And in this instance, I want to multiply. So what that will happen is it will multiply this figure by this figure and then multiply this figure by this figure. And it will place the results in these cells. Just have a look at those values, 0 0.22, 24, and 36. I'm going to multiply it by 1.2. Click on OK. And it's updated those figures. But what it's also brought across is the formatting from this cell. So I would need to then change the formatting back to currency to see the updated figures. Let's do that again and show you a way of meaning that we don't have to uh, reformat those cells. So we select the cell with the multiplier in, copy, select the cells where we want the results to go, paste special, and let's do two things at once. Let's just bring across the values and multiply. And in doing that, it won't bring across the formatting from this cell. Click on OK, and there we are. We've maintained our formatting, and the prices have been upgraded. So that's Pace Special. There's lots of things in there to look at. Have a play around with them. Just set yourself up a spreadsheet with some numbers and colours and shading in, and have a go with Pace Special, and just try all those different things. For example, you could paste cells just with comments, or just the values and number formats, or do everything except borders. Have a play around with those.